Pacific Sea Stars. Why this? Well, if you were following timing events after Fukushima's huge disaster and contamination of the oceans besides the lands, not too many years after that, the Pacific Coast experienced uh, starfish die-off, massive starfish die-off. That die-off began up north of Oregon, up in Vancouver it was spotted first, and then slowly leached its way down the coast and showed up in Portland and now has gone down into California. And I haven't seen a map of the affected areas for this disease, but from what I've seen going back, right, this has been many years now. This is about two years timing after Fukushima happened all these things out in the ocean are cooking and stewing and adding energy to things around it and invigorating things because that's what the heat component out of this reactor fuel that was spread across the oceans can do it does it is heating you can find the release inventory measured in joules of energy and that energy is going to dissipate and be released across the planet for the rest of its life. But this starfish wasting disease to me seems uh, something interesting. Anyway, you can chase it back how you want. The disease was found back in 1940, I believe. And has been around, but something invigorated that population in the ocean enough, whatever that disease vector is that's getting the starfish, something invigorated that population to make it more fatal and much more common. Now, when I first came out to the West Coast from the Midwest a decade ago, I remember <laughs> friends coming from out of state to visit and showing them beautiful pools of starfish out by the ocean near the rocks these huge we call them pizzas just beautiful beautiful starfish and clusters you i hadn't seen elsewhere they're gone they're not here i've got photos of them but the amazement of seeing that cluster of sea life with so many colors it's out near a former or it's out near the nuclear base it was out there, the Trident nuclear base. No problems there. So, sea star wasting disease. I have an opinion that it was born of the energies that were released out of Fukushima. Not born, it was invigorated by the energies out of Fukushima. <coughs> but the oceans have been undergoing massive changes. To, to claim that was the cause is kind of shallow from an evidentiary standpoint, eh? But to deny it is also a problem, a challenge. It hides, if that is true, and a few people would like to know, it hides the seriousness of these nuclear incidents long-term to life on the planet. So... If we go to outer space, we will not live without this planet to come back to, to feed us, to send us whatever it takes to survive in outer space until we really figure it out. It's not in my lifetime, or yours probably, so what's the alternative? Starfish wasting disease to outer space travel big stuff going on and we have silly conversations <laughs> thanks i gotta go get a fresh cup of coffee so have a great morning